Hey, good morning. Today is Sunday, May 24th. I skipped doing a video yesterday, just super busy doing stuff around the house and thought I would combine uh, this morning's with yesterday. So yesterday was 147, today is 146 days from Ironman, Texas. Yesterday I had a pretty good uh, workout, just got a weighted vest uh, to continue developing my strength training and I ended up doing a three mile run and a 45 minute hit workout with that. Uh, felt good, but you know, one of the realizations this morning getting up is that I put my body under, you know, a different kind of stress and a, and a heavier workload this week than several weeks prior. I, I really have just been running three or four times a week uh, at pretty comfortable paces. And, you know, it, 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 I guess it's a little bit of a reality check on the fact that I was doing you know, 15, 16, 17, 18 hours of training a week. And I have been doing three or four <laughs> recently. Um, but at the same time, I'm excited and I am about to hop on the bike here, get a little uh, Zwift action going and get a early morning ride in to start the day. Uh, just kind of re-energized to get back on the bike. I've literally have not been on the bike in weeks or, or technically months and uh so i'm excited felt good about yesterday's workout and excited about the week ahead i am uh still trying to come up with what you know kind of a, a exciting way to hop back into things and just kind of get that energy and motivation going more than likely what i'll end up doing is setting a 30-day goal probably like a june goal where i do uh the same thing or uh, like for example, I've considered doing a 5k every day for the month of June Regardless of what you know my training plan calls for just thinking about something like that that can be a fun like short term finish line uh, Really just to get me refocused have fun with it and, and And feel good about my progress. So I'm excited to jump back in one thing. I may have mentioned already um but I'll mention again is, you know, I, the, my approach is going to be a little bit different for this Ironman training. I felt really good about uh, the training plan I was following last time and, and my progress up to the point where it was cut off. But uh, this time I, I'm set on uh, keeping the strength training as a, as a core piece of, you know, my weekly routine where I just kind of let it go. Uh, Felt like I didn't have time for it, or uh, you know, I, I guess what could have been carved out for strength training, I was just doing like a recovery run or something like that. So uh, the other aspect is I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back in the pool, and obviously I've got to continue to develop my body uh, in, in those, you know, with shoulders and lats especially, so that I can keep my pool strength and there's some exercises I need to incorporate into my workout routine for that, that, um, uh, that you can find that are, you know, specific for swimming muscles. Uh, so that's another reason to, you know, really amp up the strength training alongside my increase in, in endurance training. So anyway, I will check back in after my ride. All right. So just finished a quick 30 minute ride. Uh, really, you know, nice burst felt good. Uh, what was crazy to me was I was actually 10 minutes into the 30 minute ride before I really felt like I hit, <laughs> like felt comfortable uh, riding, and my legs were awake. Uh, it took a long time to kind of, I don't know if it was just getting comfortable again or what, but uh, challenging ride, felt good. I don't, my specs went away on the screen, but um, I was riding a pretty good wattage for that 30 minutes for for where I'm at, you know, kind of restarting this training. But anyway, happy Sunday, happy Memorial Day to everybody, and I uh, appreciate you watching this video. Uh, connect with me, whether it's through you know, YouTube or Facebook Messenger or, or uh, Instagram uh, messages. You know, would love to just kind of get your feedback and and uh, hear you know your fitness journey or your goals in general. Be glad to be part of that. All right, see ya.